Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. Now, right now, I'm in Stanton, California, which is right next to Anaheim. Um, and I'm in front of the China King sign, China King's restaurants over here. And then uh, the spicy tacos over there. But you might be wondering, what am I doing in front of the China King restaurant is Mr. Esmar going to get some Chinese food no I'm not going to get any Chinese food I just wanted to go ahead and show you this sign uh, there's a reason why I want to show you this sign let me see if I can get a little bit closer sorry about my finger there the China King I want you to pay attention to the actual sign you see that sign you see how it looks okay now remember this is a restaurant called China King which is right there okay but right here it's the neon sign of China King. Now here's the other side of the uh, sign, okay, and the restaurant's right behind me. Um, it's a very nice little looking sign out there. Okay, now this video is gonna be taking pl uh, place into two different locations, okay? This is the first location. Uh, but I really want you to really pay attention to this particular sign, okay? Remember the China King, but look at the, these. Look at the outer sign. Look how it looks, okay? And as you can see here, it's just it's very tall. It's right here in the middle of like a grocery outlet, spicy taco dia. I'm not gonna get any food. I'm not here to get any food. That's not my motivation. My motivation is for you to look at this sign so you can take a uh, better look. There's my car, okay. So here's the sign, the spice, I mean the uh, China King. Just, rem just look how it looks like, okay. And you will see, you'll find out the reason why I am filming this uh, design. Let me show you a better look here. It's a very nice looking sign. Nothing too fancy, nothing but pretty big, okay? All right, so in my next, you'll see re the reason why I have filmed the China King, okay? Just remember, follow the patterns, follow the patterns, okay? Let me give you a better look. Okay, I just walked away from the sign a little bit so I can give you a better look, but look, just look at this, just look how it's shaped, okay? And uh, you'll see the reason why I am filming this. You're like, oh, Mr. Escobar has lost his mind. But no, no, just, I'm gonna give you a nice little history lesson, okay? So just look at the sign, okay? You got it? Are you sure? Okay, so now here we are in Bell Gardens, California, and there's my car, and I wanted to go ahead and show you this. We are standing in front of Pioneer Chicken, fried chicken. It's a, it's a wonderful place. I haven't been to Pioneer Chicken in over about 10 years. Here is the uh, restaurant. Okay, so here we go. Now let me go ahead and show you why I was filming that sign over there in Stanton. Remember how the sign looked like? Remember how it was shaped? Well, the reason why it was shaped like that because originally it was a Pioneer Chicken. And here it is. Here's what it actually looked like originally. I had to go way, way down to a different city. So you see the outline right there? You see how it looks? So that sign that we saw, that Chinese restaurant, as you can see, it's the same, the same thing. Pioneer Chicken. Isn't that crazy? Every time I see one of those old signs, I already knew it was a Pioneer Chicken. Uh, and of course, here we are, Pioneer Chicken. 
Now, what is so big about Pioneer Chicken? Pioneer Chicken, during the 1970s and, and um, um, early 80s, there used to be 270 uh, around the um, Los Angeles area. There were so many of them. Um, I remember there's one actually down the street where I, where I actually lived. And um, they also had a lot of them in Hawaii. It was so popular. It was a Los Angeles um, location for, um, for a good uh, fried chicken. Of course, there's, there's Kentucky Fried Chicken and um, I don't remember, the churches and Popeyes, but, but in Los Angeles, and they were Pioneer Chicken, which was, uh, which was really, really good if I remember right. So, back in the days, Pioneer's Chicken uh, used to have, uh, again, 270 around Los Angeles, and then also in Hawaii. In Hawaii, they just, uh, they franchised, uh, the owners went to Hawaii and opened up, like, I believe, like, 56 of them in Hawaii. And uh, they just loved it in Hawaii. Unfortunately, uh, Pioneer Chicken um, and the owners uh, came down to some hard times, and they ended up selling the franchise. And from there, uh, we don't have those Pioneer Chickens all over the place. Now, the, that last location it was in Anaheim. Uh, so again, you can see a bunch of them. But right now, as as we know, as or in fact, we do already know, there's only two Pioneer Chickens in Los Angeles or in the world, I would say. And here's one of them. The other one is in is more in Los Angeles. So there's one in Los Angeles and one in, in uh, Bell Gardens, but as you see, you can see the sign there. You see that? You see the Insignian sign right there? Okay, so whenever you see old signs like that, it was a once it was a Pioneer Chicken. So, what a lot of those uh, new places, what they did was they just took off the Pioneer Chicken and they ended up um, putting their own restaurants there. And I see a bunch of them here. But um, again, there. Uh, this is something a place that I, I do miss going. Uh, last time I went to a Pioneer Chicken was about 10 years ago. Um, but uh, I'm not going to go today. Um, I am. That's. It is still junk food. It's very. It has a lot of calories, and um, yeah, it's. It, you're gonna have to do like 135 push-ups just to uh, burn off one of these. Uh, uh, chicken and fries and biscuits and coleslaw and mm, mashed potatoes. Uh, I wish I could eat that. But no, Mr. Esquire has to be in shape. He is a PE teacher. So maybe maybe if I uh, if I run like 20 miles and do like 300 push-ups and um, you know stuff like that, maybe I can go ahead and eat maybe a good meal at Pioneer Chicken. But anyways, that's just me talking. But I just wanted to show you that that other location, whenever you see a sign like this, this is Pioneer Chicken, this is what it originally was. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead to the other side to, to go ahead and show you how it looks like. There we go, same thing. As you, can, as you know, Mr. Escobar really likes old historical sites and big signs, um, so here we go, I hope you I just want to drop this little video just to show you a little bit more about Los Angeles history. Um, yeah, so that's the. I want you to go. Uh, I want you to give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content, and also drop a comment, and that'll be uh, uh, really appreciated. Also, uh, make sure you guys do your homework. Make sure as you do all your classes. Make sure you guys do your all your work. Um, and I'll try to make more historical uh, Los Angeles uh, videos. In the future, I, I for some reason or another, Mr. Escobar knows a lot of just very interesting facts about Los Angeles or useless facts, but they're not useless. They're American history, they're Los Angeles history, and Mr. Escobar knows quite a bit. So, once again, Pioneer Chicken, whenever you see those signs, and whenever you come to Bell Gardens or the one in Los Angeles, please go ahead and enjoy that. I guess 15 bucks for a 12 piece chicken only I got 15 bucks burning in my pocket right now no I cannot do that no wow 10 piece mix $22.49 that's a lot of money for chicken my gosh huh 
but it's good. It's better than KFC. I, I promise. I haven't been in KFC in 15 years. And churches, I've been there once. Popeyes, oh, I would never go to Popeyes. <laughs> but Mr. Esquire don't eat junk food anymore. But here we go. Just pioneer chicken. I hope you enjoy it. All right. Take care. I'll see you guys later. Bye.